Well, some of you are probably aware that you can generate multiple pictures at once with Gemini AI. So essentially, instead of sending one prompt for each image, the entire images can be generated in just one response. So of course, this behavior is very useful in some situations. Like for example, you want to create some variation of picture or perhaps in this case, I have one example where I created some visuals for a storyboard and given that Gemini is also very good at character consistency, uh, this feature can be very, very useful. Like here I have 10 different images and they're just showing the exact same person but in different situations and scenes. So overall, this feature is very, very useful. Now. This is actually not my first time talking about uh, this particular topic. Previously, I have published this video on my channel that you can generate multiple pictures at once using Gemini AI. And at the time, I suggest you to just use this simple prompt. Basically, you have to be more explicit that you want to create more or multiple images in the AI thread. But that method wasn't very consistent and also I think you are limited to be around five to six images most of the times, even though in theory, it can easily generate up to 10 images. But the prompting here is, I would say the problem, it is not uh, quite straightforward. And sometimes AI is just losing counts on how many images that it just created. Now, I have another prompt that is better, more reliable and consistent, so you can generate up to 10 images in one response. So let me show you how you can use it. I'm going to open a new thread on Gemini. And of course, this prompt or this technique can be applied on the web and also the mobile app version of Gemini AI. Now, you can copy this prompt in the description. Basically, we are utilizing the reasoning feature from Gemini to double check if the number of images that it just created match the number of images that the user has requested. So overall, I gotta say that this prompt is way more consistent than my other recommendation. It is still not 100% perfect, but I would say the success rate is about 95%, which is very, very good. Now down here, you can list all the things that you want to create and in this case i just want to create these pictures i'm going to copy them and let's paste that right here at the end and also if you want to make some uh, extra instructions or a prompt you can add that down here let's say you can add, uh, add some sort of additional instruction sorry about that now uh, you can add something like perhaps different color or different style or perhaps you want to add something into uh, these pictures you can do that right here you can add that information this is one example i think uh, on this particular thread i specified that i i want to make sure i want ai to make sure that each image is unique from one to another and that's why there is a regular looking image there is also the cyberpunk style there is also the futuristic city something like that so that that was caused by this extra instruction but this is completely optional now let's go back to that thread again and i don't think i want to add anything so i'm going to remove it and here you can enable create images it is not mandatory because we already mentioned that we want to create images so if you feel like you don't want to enable this then that's totally fine now for the model you can also use gemini uh, 2.5 plus or the pro version is up to you now when you're done just send a message and you'll see that gemini will create all these 10 images now you can list 12 15 or 20 but still it will only create up to 10 images. Now, while it's still creating some images, there are a few things that I want to talk about about this particular behavior. So first of all, I don't think this is an intentional feature because it's not quite obvious that we can do this with Gemini. I think uh, people might be just accidentally discover that, hey, you can use Gemini to generate multiple pictures in one response. And uh, another thing that I want to mention here is that I highly recommend to keep the description for each picture to be as concise as possible. On my experience, if you make the prompt to be complicated, like very long, then sometimes AI might be confusing about the distinction from, let's say, the item number one versus the item number three, four, or five. It can happen. It's not always happened, but it can happen. So. 
I highly recommend to just keep the whole thing to be about one or two sentences. Now, uh, apparently it's able to generate uh, up to 10 pictures. Yep. So the last picture was the uh, statue of the Christ of the Redeemer. And yeah, I think it was 10 pictures in total. So yeah, as you can see, this new prompt is way more consistent than my previous method. So I highly recommend to use this particular prompt if you want to generate multiple pictures using Gemini AI. And again, the full prompt is available in the description down below. So that's how you can reliably and consistently generate multiple images with one in one response using Gemini AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.